into the front of biochemistry. Biochemistry is not organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is anything with carbon. It doesn't have much to do with life. But biochemistry, you got to have something going on there. Okay? Or have an action. So, one of my interesting things uh, when I've gone back into this, and let's say I've done some work in this book. It's a very good book. We have the difference in glycolysis. The glycolysis is, well, you're storing energy in the form of fuel, just in the form of uh, carbohydrate in, um, well, it kind of works with fructose, but maybe with real fruits. And it's stacked up, you know, we're bringing some glucose. It's called glycogen. Now, you've got to break that up if you don't eat enough at the right time and you need more energy than uh, you consume. So, there's two ways it happens. Go from glucose, you just ate, it's right there, the cells take it up. Then you have to have, well, we haven't gone into ATP, and ADP is not important in all that yet. But you get something called pyruvate. Now, pyruvate, you have oxygen, it becomes the part of the cycle that will make more electrons to be able to be used by the cycle if you give them enough oxygen. If not, it turns into a fuel, and that fuel is lactate. Now, if you have a trained muscle, that muscle is going to have the mitochondria uh, set up to be able to take that with oxygen, because we're, we're just holding oxygen because you've trained the muscle, and it becomes reused. Or you turn it into lactate. Now, if you really use that muscle, you're going to have more lactate than you can use. Lactate can be used as a fuel if you are trained to use it. If you're not, it becomes pain. So when you just start doing an activity and you have pain, there you go. Your pyruvate doesn't have enough oxygen. Okay, thank you, Rowan. I probably went on way too long, but um, enjoy biochemistry.